And COVID-19, they don't continue uh, to be the topic of conversation for all levels from the impact to solution we then define. Plus, the Africa crew been day or two in local slum to find out how the residents they manage inside this coronavirus pandemic. First impression we had is of people going about their businesses. Life seems normal here. Not much of social distancing nor hand wash hygiene is observed. Just people living in a familiar environment. Well, they admit they have heard a few words from the government about COVID-19. Government now, so they say that they say no do like this, no do like this, and we just respect them. Since when they say Corona virus, you don't they? No movement. Food yourself, we don't know, we don't, we don't see. Since how many months now? Now so we do have to manage our life. See where we stay. That's so what we do the manage. We talked to a few anyways to understand where they are with the new reality of COVID-19 and how it affects them. This coronavirus breaks some or breaks some other things. We don't have, we can't go out like we want. So we want government to help us. Like our children now, is not going to school. But for seven months pregnant, Zainab Wahid, her problem may not just be COVID-19 alone. The Atlanta is not going well because of this um, COVID virus. So I'm really, really tired of this. But I just pray that may our government should help us. Because how long are we cope with this one? So there is no hospital here. We have to go far from this place. So we need the protection. As the world battles with the reality of COVID-19, communities like Otto Ilogbo here in Lagos would depend heavily on sensitization awareness creation to understand the reality of COVID-19 and be able to join in the fight against COVID-19. For Plus TV Africa from the slums of Otto Ilogo, Amaka Okoye, and it's back to you in the studio.